Hey guys, Sean here from Shooty School. I'm going to do a quick introduction to breathing while singing. Um, I kind of self-taught this as a teenager throughout my 20s. I met Kalen Chase. I was lucky enough to be buddies with him and jam with him for a couple years. Um, he was the backup vocalist for Korn and the singer of Vimic. And I think it's 2022 right now. His career is in Nashville right now. So he's probably doing some vocal lessons. You might want to look him up. He's fantastic. Um, but... Over the time I knew him, he got a hold of me, and especially when we were in a band together, he tightened up my technique, and here's the final product of that. And when you're ready to do professional vocal training, you know, whatever your professional vocal teacher tells you, just go with that. But this is a valid introduction, especially if it is an introduction to you, okay? When I breathe in to speak with you right now, I, if I close my eyes and really like feel what's happening in my body. My air ends up right here in the top of my chest. You can feel it here. It, it feels weak to me. It's normal, I do it all the time. It's how I breathe. It's how you breathe and how I breathe in when I talk to you right now. It's right here. I imagine my air right here. I want my air to go down here, down to where my abdomen, abdomen is in my diaphragm. <clears throat> so what I wanna do so I want to breathe in deep. I'm just going to go slow and say this once because this is not the type of video I do. I want to breathe in deep. I want to get that air to get out of here and go down here where my muscles are so my muscles can get around that air and control that air for me. Okay? So when I breathe in deep, what happens? The back of my neck you know, goes concave or convex. I'm sorry. You can see what it's doing though. My shoulders raise and my chest puffs out. So now there's more air up here. My body's jolting around. That's not what I want. I'm about to sing a long vocal line. It's a hypothetical situation. I'm going to breathe in. I'm not going to move my body. I'm going to have decent posture. You can probably tell I'm sitting up right now. Um, shoulders over hips. You don't have to be this picky, but maybe in training you should be. I'm going to breathe in deep. I'm not going to move my body, especially my shoulders. My shoulders will not raise. <sighs> uh -uh. Keep my shoulders down. Don't let the top of your lungs expand and get that air down deep down here. Boink, boink. Now, you can see my nipples, but now my abdomen's sticking out. <sighs> now the air's down here, not up here. It's really important. It takes a while to turn this into muscle memory and memorize doing this because we've been breathing for infinity our entire lives into the top of our chest, supposedly. So breathe in deep. Don't raise your shoulders. Mentally vision and guide that air not to go here, but to go down here. Your belly's going to pop out. Before we do this, you can jam, find your last rib. Take a finger or two, jam it under your last rib. If you're breathing regularly, not much happens to your fingers. They don't pop out. But if you breathe the way I'm telling you to breathe, do not get good posture. Don't lift your shoulders. You breathe in, down here. Yeah, your fingers start popping out of your belly. We know we're getting the air down there. As Kalen said, like a pregnant boy. That's where like the pregnant belly is, supposedly. I don't know. Now that's just the inhale. Before you start singing, you want to flex your belly as in if someone's about to punch you. If someone came at you, sorry about a violent uh, example. I'm definitely as nonviolent as I can be. If someone came at you and you saw a punch coming at your belly and you had enough milliseconds to know you it was going to land, you would tighten up your belly, right? So let's not tighten up anything. Don't tighten up anything anywhere except your belly. Breathe in as I spoke to you about. Tighten <laughs> only the belly, none of this. And now I have complete control of my breath. Now I can speak way longer than normal. Now I can just talk and talk and talk and talk and sing and sing and sing and sing. And wait for that opportunity in music to where you're not singing 
to get your next breath in. And when you get your next breath in, release your abdomen, your diaphragm. Breathe in again with the proper technique. Tighten. Sing, 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 sing. Moment to breathe. Relax. Breathe in. My shoulders did not raise. My body did not jerk. You know, someone's about to get hit crossing the street by a bus. You're going to breathe in to yell, hey, and that air's up here. Right? And you're going to blast all that air out instantly. No control over the air up here. The muscles just aren't there to engulf that air and control it. And the last analogy that I kind of came up with, maybe this will help you. Take a balloon, fill it up with air, let go of it, <laughs> done, right? That's regular breathing. There's no control over the air. Example two, fill up that balloon and hold the end I don't know, this is just something I did as a kid. Do kids still do this stuff? Hold the end and just squeak out little spurts of air at a time. Now you have complete control of how much air comes out at which time. Okay? That's it. I mean, that's as simple as the technique is. You just need to take the words I said, remember them, take notes, and actually practice it. And speaking of practicing, here's two things. One thing is, is... I should have practiced this the whole video. I can just practice talking to you using this technique. Pregnant boy, holding it, and now I'm just talking to you, and I'm flexing. Good posture and flexing is gonna build these muscles. I've got a friend who um, spear fishes underwater, no air tank, dives down with the spear, and hunts for dinner. Respective way to do it, I guess. He's a talented dude. How does he rehearse holding his breath? He holds his breath, right? That's kind of what we're doing here, except we're doing it while we're flexing. And we're speaking and we're letting that breath out a little at a time. It seems like a chore, but if you're serious about this, and you start doing it, you'll notice really fast. The progress actually happens pretty fast on this, so you kind of get some results back, maybe the next day, the day after, like, like that. And you'll be like, not only can I hold my breath longer, but I can speak more while I'm holding my breath. Now, wonder how people get on stage, worldwide touring acts, do three hour sets all night long. Uh, last bit of advice for training. Um, when you go to bed at night, it's a good way to meditate as well. So you don't have to just sit there bored holding your breath, meditate, okay? Do your best to clear your mind or do the opposite of meditating. Focus on all your problems, whatever, all right? Lay down on your back, best posture you can. And just breathe in with the technique I have. Don't jolt your body. Shoulders down. Everything's relaxed as you inhale. Tighten up your admin. admin. <clears throat> Gotta learn how to say that freaking word while I'm under pressure. Abdomen. Tighten around that air that you inhaled and just practice holding your breath while you're in bed on your back sleeping. No need to speak, just work on your abdomen muscles. You're flexing them, you're working them out. They're getting stronger. Very simple. And see how long you can hold your breath for it. And if you're elite about this, time it and keep tabs on your progress, right? Um, this is something you see results on fast. So if you're like, eh, seems like I'm eating the worst vegetables ever, well, the health benefits for this vegetable comes back pretty fast. I think you'll be happy. And, uh, and that's it. That is my introduction to breathing while singing. So, Sean from Shoot to School, rock on.